And there's a real feel-good factor about Ashton Gate. This may have been the scene of Bristol City's heartache last year. A thousand Hartlepool fans have made the trip to the southwest. The pressure very much off their team after the one-all draw in the home leg. And City hoping to avoid a repeat of the heartache they suffered last year against Cardiff. Here's Porter. Now Barrett. Cross from Williams, oh, it's there! It's Sweeney who's got the goal that brings joy for Hartlepool! Incredible scenes at Aston Gate! Great cross, wasn't it, from Williams on his out on his right-hand side. I've got a feeling it came off the defender, it wasn't so sweet a header. From Sweeney, he gets between the forwards in the box again as he heads it. Look, no, it is. It's a great header right in the corner. It's all about the cross, the pace across, great curve, great shape on it. it. Gets across his marker, and what a header right into the corner. And isn't he a happy man? Look at that. They want to get on with it, and you can understand that. Provert punches the corner. Dans gets a foot to it. It's on by Boyd, and it's one up and one back now. Tremendous break from Porter. But the shot comes to nothing. Who was never going to close the ball down here, Robbie? Look, he's, I think he's aware of the other striker making the run, but he's got to go over and close. His own defender's goal side, he's got to go and close, allows the shot, and thankfully for him, it's over the bar. Now Lita. Good fellow. Tinian. Doherty. Roberts. Tackle by Nelson. Doherty. Good ball to Murray. Plenty over for him, but he wants to do it on his own. Good block. Here's Roberts. Good fellow! Yes! The rescue act from the substitute! More good fellow! And Bristol City are right back in the chase for a place in the playoff final. What a head, what a header from the little fellow, good fellow. We've just had a go at him for not hitting the ball just recently back across the goal. But the pace was all on the cross. It's a super cross that comes in. And he's just got to get his head to it. He gets his head to it. Great stuff, right in the corner. The little fellow is the real good fellow. Look at that, right in the corner. Goalkeeper Brothers got no chance. Maybe gets a finger to it. As I say, the power's all on the cross. And what's Danny now? Well, oh, same as Neil Cooper. Don't they just love it? And they'll be singing for he's a jolly good fellow right into the night. Hartley ball going for it, they must be gutted though. Now the crowd's really behind Bristol, isn't it? So close to getting over that finishing line. Now it's a case of how's Hartley ball going to react. Here, Neil Cooper and his side were around three minutes per stoppage time away from reaching the second division final. And it's been taken away from them by that header from Mark Goodfellow. How it turns, so late in games, it's unbelievable, was it? Sunderland beat Crystal Palace the other night as well, and that just changed right at the end with a Darren Powell go, goal. And uh, you know, you come all this way all season long, and then in the last couple of minutes, it's either snatched from your grasp or you get that little bit of glory. Six minutes of stoppage time. Christian Roberts is through and gets the goal that completes the turnaround for Bristol City. Wild scenes at Ashton Gate because they look down to go, but now it's all turned around, and they know that they are Cardiff-bound thanks to a Cardiff-born player. And an excellent finish. A couple of times he showed a lack of composure for me, but tonight, right at the death, he's done it. Great bit of composure as he fainted to shoot on his left foot. The ball comes up, he's just helped on a couple of times, really. 
as Tinkler comes over, he shakes the shoot with his left, comes in on his left and slides it home. That's a great finish. Tinkler comes over here and that's all about checking inside him. And yes, and straight through to keep his legs. A little bit of good fortune there, but that's a great finish from Roberts. Great, great finish. Oh, and how has this one changed around? Oh, he's been for everything, Danny, hasn't he? And poor old Neil Cooper as well. Oh. A native of Cardiff, he started his career at Nenian Park, and now Christian Roberts puts Bristol City within sight of the Millennium Stadium. All smiles for him, and you can understand his pleasure. We're at the six minutes of stoppage time. City at the Millennium Stadium for the final. His was the winning goal after Mark Goodfellow had cancelled out the Sweeney goal that had seemed such a setback for Bristol City and until three minutes from the end of the 90 looked as though it would knock their hopes of a final again. But they came back, they got the crowd behind them and with Goodfellow's header and the final flourish from Christian Roberts, Bristol City have made it. Mad, mad scenes at Ashton Gate. It took the fans a little while to wake up, didn't it? And now, boy, have they woken up. Two goals right at death. See, Bristol City going to the final, and well, my heart goes out to Hartlepool as well. They've done so well on the evening, and they look like being there for such a long, long time. And then those two goals right at the end. There was two splendid goals, weren't they? The first one by Hartlepool, a great cross in. Sweeney dives and headers it. And then the second one, another header, the equaliser for Bristol, a great header from Goodfellow from another great cross. And there's Roberts. Well, he'll get the man in the match of the wall, no doubt about that. I mean, he's, it's a great finish right at the end. He keeps his cool. Tinkler maybe he dives in a little bit, but you have to say there was a great bit of composure right at the end of the game, and they're through now. And the side of songs are coming out. <laughs> well... It's a high-spirited invasion of the pitch, as this is, of course, the last home game of the season. It's a night for winners, but we shouldn't forget the losers. Hartlepool were on the brink of their most outstanding achievement yet. After the promotion of last year, they were within sight of the playoff final, cruelly deprived of it three minutes from the end. Sweeney's goal lifted them, had them pinching themselves at the hope that they might get a 50-50 shot at first division football alongside Sunderland next season. But it was snatched away from them. First by the header from the substitute Goodfellow and then by Christian Roberts, injury time winner. Bristol City did it, had to show great character and perseverance when doing it without their top scorer Lee Peacock for much of the match but it was the man who started it, his strike partner who stole the limelight at the end and got the winning goal that means scenes of utter jubilation.